I was in Washington a week ago, and I was thinking, we were talking about how to bring people together across the house divide, because the house is extraordinarily divided now, and people aren't talking, and I thought it would be very interesting. Well, abortion is obviously a key issue, but it's one that's unbelievably contentious. But one of the things I thought about with regards to the abortion issue is that it's, by the time you're talking about abortion, you're probably having the wrong conversation, which is why it's so deeply polarized. Right? There's a sequence of bad decisions that have already occurred by the time that's the conversation. And one of the things you see that's really quite interesting, and, and I just started to think about it this way in this last week or so, is that you know, the, the traditional right, the conservative types, are pushing quite hard, and, and always have, for the encapsulation of sexual behavior within a fairly traditional structured marriage, right? But you know, you're seeing sexual taboos. These sexual taboos are very common across cultures, but you're seeing the same thing emerge on the left in a completely different form. Because on the one hand, especially the radical leftist types, their basic claim is that anything goes, right? But, but at the same time, they're putting forward these affirmative consent regulations and laws in many states and they're insisting that we live in the middle of a rape culture and that they're acting as if sex is a very volatile and dangerous enterprise which actually happens to be the case and so there's even though th that issue is extraordinarily tense partly because people on the left i would say would like to let a thousand flowers bloom let's say there is an accruing agreement that there's some deep discussion that has to be had about sexual morality. Mm -hmm. And that's a place where despite the dis di differences that some sort of bipartisan discussion might occur. It's like obviously people are very upset about the manner in which sexual activity is occurring among, especially among young people. They're upset on the left and they're upset on the right. So it would be, well, so that's one of the things I thought I might, Wait, I might discuss today. I think that would know. be. Yeah, it's how to encapsulate it. I mean, and it's partly, I think it's partly also a consequence of the fact that we haven't adapted to the birth control pill yet. You know, it was a major technological revolution, the birth control pill, and mm -hmm. it's only been 50 years. And we haven't figured out what it means for women to have control over the reproductive function or what the consequences should that, what, are the, what the consequences of that should be socially. The leftist types, especially in the 60s, thought, you could just blow sexual morality apart completely because now people were free to do what they want. But that isn't working. There's a, there's a backlash against that on the left as well. Mm -hmm. so, so it would be, well, it would be fun and necessary to think fun. It would be engaging and necessary to think that through because maybe there's some room for a real discussion about that. So I, I want a lot of your speech today to be questions, if you can, because this, aud okay. this audience would love How much of it? 70 percent all right so how long do you want me to talk i think we have you slated for quite a long time <laughs>